right side tires underneath that square, about this much. Okay. That'll help you with your arc coming out of two and four. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Makes the arc bigger. When you drive it down in there, down deep, uh -huh. quick, it kind of starts pushing the car, uh, not not up, but it kind of holds the car in that spot, and it's, it just it cuts your arc off. That's about the best way I can okay. tell you. So just make sure once you once you clear them, look up for that next cone, start aiming. I mean that next square, and just get your right side tires, like I said, two or three feet underneath there, and go through the corner like that, and that'll help you coming out, especially in four. It'll help you over okay. here. Everything else, man, you were doing great. You got good control. I appreciated the fact you knew how to break a race car. Oh yeah. Because <laughs> we ran up on several <laughs> several messes there. That's why I gave you extra laps. <laughs> I have a nitrous car, 72 Challenger. Oh, yeah. With a, with nitrous in it. And it's got four wheel drum brakes. Yeah. So I've learned how to brake. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing how many people don't. I mean, they just get brain dead in here. And Any start. switches in here? Uh, this is the second one up. That's it. No, that are, that's all good. It's down. Hmm? It's down. Which one? Oh, that's all right. No, just the black switch is the only one that needs it. Second black switch needs okay. to be up. All right, Chris, let's get her back in a second again. All righty. I'll let you shift out when you want to this time. Just make sure we get around the corner before you shift in the third. Oh, sure. And, now again, not all these people are 20 lappers, so you're going to have to show me a little patience here until we get... You, get, got, you, and, patience, you did great, but, <laughs> you know, if we get caught up like we did again that first time, I'll get you more laps again. I'm not, I'm not too big. So this car will hold to that corner topped out. If you top it out on this straightaway and you let off at the cone, this mm -hmm. this will hold the corner. At that oh speed? yeah, oh yeah, easy. Yeah, because I was letting off early on that corner. Truth is, well, just as long as you let off at the cone, uh -huh. at the cone and the square. Truth is, you can. I mean, with the rev limiter that we've got you on here, you could probably uh, foot it. Through. Oh, you can. Yeah. You can foot it. Through, but we we don't allow that. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can. I figured you could do it without lifting. Oh yeah. Because what's that rev limiter set at? Fifty six. Yeah, I was gonna say fifty five. Yeah, seven. 55, I never 56. even looked down. At yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you know, I mean, they run ninety four here. Yeah, that's what they run. So, and these are the real, these are the real Chevy motors and clutches. I mean, this is the real McCoy race I can, car. I can tell. Yeah. I can tell. We're the only school in the country that does this. In fact, you got a Childress motor in here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can feel this is, this is a what, dual diaphragm clutch. A lot of, oh yeah, yeah it is. Yeah, it's the, you know, it's the whole thing, so.
Where are you from? Uh, well, we live in Galveston area now. Galveston? Cool. Little island down there called Deep Island. Yeah? My wife, she's still working in Afghanistan. Oh, cool. Uh, let's stay while let's get in the left lane. Yeah, we'll go up front. Power's over just a little to the right. There you go, about right there. I was there seven years, it's been three and a half. Oh, wow. Uh, were you an independent contractor or were you no, in the service? I was a contractor. Yeah. yeah. 